Welcome to Librarian Recommends. Hi, my name is Trish and I'm one of the librarians at Barbican Library and I'm going to bring you some suggestions of books to read or listen to via a Librarian Recommends session each week on a Thursday. You can download ebooks and audiobooks using our free RB Digital app. If you need help using the app, please take a look at our user guide video, which you can find in the video section on the left of this Facebook page, or go to our YouTube channel using the link above. Today's Librarian Recommends is a bit different, as I'm going to concentrate on books reviewed and recommended by some of our library staff. Firstly, I'm going to mention some ebook titles you might be interested in trying. The first recommendation is from Nadine and is called Utopia by Dylan Evans. This true story follows the author's attempt to imagine what it might be like to live in a post-apocalyptic world following complete societal and technological collapse. He quits his job and moves to the Scottish wilderness to set up an experiment at self-sustainable group living, complete with a cast of misfit characters, all with their own hang-ups and agendas. His experiment certainly does not work out how he hoped, and he eventually finds himself in a psychiatric unit exhausted and disillusioned. His book is an extremely moving, insightful and fascinating tale of self-discovery, mental health, belief systems, herd mentality and idealism. Funny, charming and very readable. This book is one of the best I've ever read and it stays with you long after you finish reading it. Next up is the Narnia series by C.S. Lewis and recommended by Wing. The Chronicles of Narnia have become part of the canon of classic literature, drawing readers of all ages into magical lands with unforgettable characters for over 60 years. Epic battles between good and evil, fantastic creatures, betrayals, heroic deeds and friendships won and lost all come together in this unforgettable world. I really love reading this fantasy series where children have adventures in the magical land of Narnia under the watchful eye and guidance of Aslan the lion. The stories are full of wonder and throughout their adventures the children learn about good versus evil, betrayal and forgiveness, faith, courage, transformation and self-sacrifice. They really are the ultimate in escapism. The next recommendation is from Sarah and is called Harlequin by Bernard Cornwall. This is the first in a series set in 14th century France. The story follows Thomas of Hookton as he joins the English army led by Edward III as an archer. The main theme of the series is a search for the Holy Grail against the backdrop of the Hundred Years' War. Harlequin concludes with the Battle of Cressy. As you would expect from Bernard Cornwall, the battle is vividly described and the action comes thick and fast. Cornwall is a master craftsman, and he creates what feels like a realistic medieval world. I choose carefully when I read a historical novel. I want the author to have researched their era thoroughly enough to avoid glaring anachronisms, but they also need to be able to move the story forward and not get bogged down in the details. Bernard Cornwall does this with practiced ease. I wholeheartedly recommend this book and the series. And now on to some audiobooks. If you've not tried listening to books before, why not give it a try? Being read to can really immerse you in the book and transport you to another world, regardless of the genre. The first audiobook suggestion is The Seven Sisters by Lucinda Riley and recommended by Tasmin. Maya Dapalese is one of the six daughters adopted from all over the world by the wealthy and elusive Pa Salt. When he dies mysteriously, each daughter is given clues to find their true heritage, and in Maya's case, this takes us on an exciting trip to Brazil. The book has a dual time where we read Maya's sections in the present day, but also read about a young, free-spirited woman called Isabel Bonifacio living in 1920s Rio de Janeiro. I couldn't put this book down. I'd recommend it to fans of historical fiction and romance. It's slightly mysterious. If we are only introduced to six sisters, why is it called the Seven Sisters? Where is the seventh? 
and who was Pa Salt. If you enjoy this, we have other books in the series on RB Digital, and each book follows a different sister exploring her heritage. Sarah has recommended The Ghost Tree by Barbara Erskine. I enjoy having stories read to me, and I have enjoyed many of Barbara Erskine's novels. Did I enjoy listening to this one? I certainly did. The narrator, Vivian Helbron, is excellent. She brings characters to life, and her voice is easy to listen to. The novel itself doesn't hit the heights of some of Erskine's other novels, The Lady of Hay or Midnight is a Lonely Place, for example. It is, however, another solid novel to add to the supernatural historical fiction with ghosts genre that Barbara R. Erskine has made her own. The novel is easy to listen to, with some genteel chills, but nothing too scary. The final audiobook recommendation is one of my own, and it's called Grown Ups by Marion Keyes. This is a new book from a very popular and engaging Irish author. I love Marion's books. They always engage me and often make me laugh and cry. This book revolves around the Casey family, who are a glamorous family and a happy family, enjoying good careers, family life and celebrations. However, beneath the surface, things are murkier than they seem. Some people clash and some like each other far too much and big secrets emerge. A careless remark and things begin to unravel and the truth starts to spill out, often in hilarious ways. This really is a great page-turner that puts a smile on your face. I do hope you enjoy these ideas for your next read. And don't forget, if these titles I have suggested are unavailable when you look, you can search by genre and availability in the RB Digital app. Do use the comments section below to add your own suggestions or reviews of books you have enjoyed and you think our customers might enjoy. And if we don't already have them available in our RB Digital collection, we will see if we can add them. And of course, your recommendation may feature in a future Librarian Recommends. Before I go, I would like to thank my colleagues for their help putting these recommendations and reviews together. Stay safe and well, and see you next week. Bye!